1. Airbnb Rental Arbitrage Whether it's a basket full of fruit or a rental property, arbitrage is the act of selling something for a profit in a separate market. The term Airbnb arbitrage refers to the practice of profitably re-renting a property to Airbnb users. A landlord leases empty flats, houses, cabins, and condos, which are subsequently sublet to Airbnb customers on a nightly, weekly, or monthly basis. The end result is rental income that ideally exceeds the cost of renting the space on a month-to-month -month basis. However, Airbnb arbitrage is not for everyone. Subletting a property without the authorization of the landlord may result in legal complications, so make sure you have a written agreement with your landlord before proceeding. Although many landlords expressly forbid subletting, some will make concessions on a case-by-case -case basis. This may be by including the Airbnb host protection insurance, which covers you up to $1 million in liability from third-party claims in your contract. If you want to list your home on Airbnb, you might need to furnish the property or redecorate within your landlord's rules to make it more suitable for guests. Make sure there's adequate seating, sleeping areas, lighting, and plenty of basic supplies and essentials in the home. Here's how to list anything on Airbnb. 1. Take pictures of the house and write a persuasive description for it. Any neighboring attractions, centers, or leisure activities should be highlighted. The residents can be listed on Airbnb for free. 2. Days, check-in and check-out hours, any additional fees, needed number of nights, daily fees, and more can all be customized. You can include any additional requirements for your visitors at this phase. 3. Make your listing public by submitting it. Clients can now look at your property and contact you directly if they want to schedule a stay. As you sublet, you may incur the following costs. The landlord is not liable for any utility costs. Wi-Fi connection that is reliable for guests furnishings for the property if not already included. If necessary, additional beds are available to accommodate additional guests. Monthly rent and the amount of the deposit. Cleaning expenses, if you don't plan to clean after each guest yourself. Guest necessities, toiletries, linens, basic kitchen supplies, light bulbs, etc. Some of these costs can be deducted from your taxes. Before you sign the lease, be sure you have enough money to cover these costs. 2. Catering Business Catering is a business that specializes in delivering food to large gatherings of people. Many caterers also provide supplies and services in addition to cuisine. The meal style and pricing vary, but all caterers specialize in feeding large gatherings of people outside of the caterer's kitchen. A catering service is simply a business that provides food. However, in modern times, it's taken on a more specific meaning. Food, dining supplies, and food service are provided by a modern catering service to groups of people, primarily in distant areas. Catering businesses can specialize in countless styles and types of food, so the following list is just to demonstrate the breadth and depth of the different types of caterers. Sandwich caterer, ice cream caterer, pizza caterer, barbecue caterer, wedding caterer, birthday party caterer, alcohol caterer, five-star caterer, table side service caterer, buffet caterer, food truck caterer, cupcake caterer, kids party caterer, Catering services also go by these alternative titles. Controlled cost of goods sold is one of the benefits of starting a catering business. One of the most significant advantages of this sort of food business is that you may significantly reduce waste or the chance of running out of food compared to a restaurant business model by purchasing items after the order is placed. Flexible work schedule. Because all catering jobs are arranged ahead of time, you can have a certain period of time free of work. Lower pressure cooking. Because the meal is prepared ahead of time, a caterer can make changes if something goes wrong. The profit margin for a catering business can be very good because you're taking orders before you purchase the goods required to produce the ordered food. Before we continue, do me a quick favor. Subscribe right now and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much, and now let's continue. 3. Vending Machine Business Vending machines dispense food and beverages to people on the go. People often ask if vending machines are lucrative because the products supplied in them are not high-ticket items, except for vehicle vending machines, of course. Vending machines in reality can be extremely profitable if a firm is properly designed. Vending is a lucrative business, as seen by the current situation of the industry. There are currently over 5 million vending machines in operation in the United States, 
which generate over $7 billion in annual revenue for their owners. In terms of profits, the snack segment alone brings in $64 million each year for vending machine operators. As long as people eat and drink on the go, there will be a need for well-placed, well-stocked vending machines. But like any business, it is possible to have great success in vending machines, to fall in the middle of the pack, or even to fail. However, vending is a multi-billion dollar industry overall. People have an insatiable desire for food and beverages on the go, and the business shows no signs of slowing down. It is in fact growing. The amount of money a single vending machine makes is determined by the machine's kind, location, products dispensed, and item prices. A good mix of machines and products, on the other hand, can help a vending machine owner make a lot of money. Starting a vending machine business on your own can save money in the beginning, but it can be difficult to break into the industry without help. With no contacts, no established industry name brand, no track record and no mentors, a solo vending machine entrepreneur could take months, if not years, to get their firm up and operating, negating the lower beginning expenses. The average profit margins for vending machines can be quite high. Some machines are a bit more profitable than others. Some of the most profitable types of vending machines include coffee vending machines, soda vending machines, and snack vending machines. Frankly speaking, one vending machine won't be enough for an operator to retire in paradise. However, several strategically placed vending machines with great products can provide a very healthy revenue stream. 4. Fitness Instructors and Personal Trainers The mandatory COVID-19 shutdowns had a significant impact on gyms and indoor fitness centers, but the fitness industry has proven to be adaptable and resilient. To stay healthy and active, fitness instructors and customers alike have shifted to online and outdoor classes. The shift to remote work and quarantining has resulted in a greater need for exercise than ever before. While fitness trends come and go, the demand for fitness trainers and quality content remains constant. Personal trainers can reach customers and build a following on digital platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, IGTV, and Instagram Live, according to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Trainers can use social media to find clients for whom they can design customized workout programs at their desired price. Getting started in personal training can be a simple process. You can take a formal certification exam, or in some cases, simply being a self-taught fitness nerd is enough to break into the industry. 5. Start Trading on Bitcoin Bitcoin BTC, has risen to prominence as the most widely used form of decentralized currency in recent years. Its creator may remain a mystery to this day, but one thing is certain. There are numerous ways to make money using Bitcoin today. Buying and holding BTC and waiting for spikes in price to earn interest is one of the most straightforward and beginner-friendly ways to earn money with crypto. Secondly, you can earn Bitcoin cash back on credit card purchases. Many payment giants, such as the BlockFi, have started rewarding users with cryptocurrency other than the usual miles or points. Other easy ways of earning Bitcoin is to join affiliate marketing programs and accept Bitcoin payments for your products and services. 6. Digital Marketing in terms of importance to businesses looking to get their names, products, and services out there, digital marketing has surpassed traditional marketing. With the pandemic accelerating the trend of companies digitizing their operations, it's even more critical for them to have a polished digital presence. A digital marketing agency will provide the following services to their clients. SEO copywriting, social media administration, email marketing administration, strategies for digital branding, creation of content, designing graphics, and so on. Starting a digital marketing agency, like our other examples, has very low startup costs. All that is required to start a digital marketing agency is prior experience in the field, computers, and possibly some specialized software. 7. Freelancing This is the world's most profitable business. It can take many forms. Graphic design, freelance writing, social media gurus, the possibilities are endless. You should be aware that more and more people are going freelance. The gig economy employs roughly one-third of all workers in the United States. That's approximately 57 million people. Working for yourself and taking on a few small tasks can be a great way to supplement your income. If you find long-term clients or a steady stream of new customers, it can become a full-time job. Outsourcing services continue to influence how businesses interact with their employees, resulting in more opportunities for freelancers to work on projects. Websites such as Upwork and Creative Circle make it much easier for freelancers to become visible. 8. Graphic Design With more brands competing for consumers' attention, a slick and polished image is more important than ever for small businesses. 
Whether or not they can afford a large-scale advertising or marketing agency, almost every small business will require some graphic design work from time to time. Do you have experience with Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign? Have you taken any design classes, and do you have a good sense of branding? As a freelance graphic designer, you can turn your skills into a business. You'll have almost no overhead, and will be able to charge significant hourly rates to do what small business owners can't do for themselves – create amazing marketing graphics. 9. 3D Printing Service The possibilities for 3D printing products are limitless. Every day, new ideas are introduced to the market, and the beauty of it is the speed with which it can occur. One obvious way to profit is to invest in 3D printing equipment and start your own additive manufacturing company, producing detailed prototypes or end products on demand from customers who have already created a CAD file detailing their requirements. With the ever-increasing demand for this type of service, investing in 3D equipment will always pay off, as long as you have a solid business plan in place and take the time to research everything you need to know about the industry and your customer base. And finally, 10. Virtual and Augmented Reality Business Virtual and augmented reality are altering the way we design, manufacture, construct, shop, conduct business, travel, and ultimately live. VR and AR are the only new technologies that are not yet dominated by robots. We still have control. That's why people are looking into the possibilities of AR and VR. Augmented reality and virtual reality continue to improve our lives by making them appear simple and achievable. Traveling during the pandemic with virtual reality tours, attempting to buy jewelry and clothing from home with augmented reality try-on, collaborating on 3D designs with AR and VR and so on. People are already addicted to AR and VR due to their uniqueness, but what if I told you that you can make money with them? Yes, you can profit directly from a technology. Virtual and augmented reality can be used from gaming, safety training for workplaces, business advertising, 3D designing and virtual traveling, and so much more. The possibilities are endless. And that's all from this video, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here, and give this video a like if you enjoyed the content. So have a great day and see you in the next one.